the Skosh Baselinks is a modular charger that'll power all of your gear. Hey, hey everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider and this is the Skosh Baselinks. At CES 2020, we had a lot of questions about this guy and a lot of requests for a review, so we jumped on it right away. Now we have two different individual components here. First is the base links pad plus the vert kit. So it's two different parts, which is part of a larger ecosystem. Everything can be connected to those goes from there. Then we also have to go with it, the Apple certified base links watch. Now this is a magnetic charger for your Apple watch. The standard magnetic charging puck comes with both the puck and then two additional end pieces uh, because more or less each of these components other than the power end cap can be used on their own. So this is the first part that we talked about, the wireless pad plus the vert charger. You can see we have the charger on one side, which has USB ports around back. There are two 12 watt USB A ports and one 18 watt USB C PD port. Honestly, even if they were slower, we wouldn't mind if there was a couple more USB C ports, but because it's a modular system, there's always the option to add them down the line if Skosh should release them. Then we have the wireless charging pad, which has a silicone ring in the middle and can get up to 10 watts of power output if your phone supports that much. Then we have the Apple Watch Puck here. Now this is a pretty standard Apple Watch charger. It can be used just on its own. Each of the individual components comes with its own power cable, so you can just plug this in and use it on its own. But you can take off the rails on the sides. When you do, you can see the components that allow this to be connected to the rest of the base link system. You can see on the left hand side, we have the female power input and on the right hand side, if I could get this rail off while on camera, you could see the actual power output that plugs in to the next one down the line. Then of course is the Apple Watch puck in the center. It can go flat or it can be propped forward. It does feel a little bit light plasticky on that part, but overall everything here feels very solid. Here you can see a little bit better how small the link part is, the links part is, before it goes into the larger ecosystem. With those rails off, the Apple Watch charger is not that large. So here we have our starter kit that we picked up, just because of a wireless charging pad and the three USB outputs that you can use for my iPad or other devices. But I want to add the Apple Watch charger to it. I pull up the rail on the right hand side of the Apple Watch charging puck, and then I pull on the rail on the left side of my base links kit. It pops off and I can connect the male power output into that socket and boom, we have one connected system with my Apple Watch charger, my iPhone charger, and three additional outputs that I can use for tablets or anything else that I have lying around. So how many different base links components can I put together in my entire system? Well, it's a point value. Skosh has assigned a point value to each individual component. And as long as the summation of all the point values is below 15, you're ready to roll. So for example, the Apple Watch charging puck, it outputs five watts of power, it is only one point. Then we have the wireless charging pad. At its max output, it can do 10 watts, and it is two points. Then we have the 18, 12, and 12, so around 42 watts of power coming from the vert charger here on the right. That is the most output, and it gets five points. So you could have three vert chargers out in a row. You could have 15 Apple Watch charging pucks right in a row, or you could have seven or so wireless charging pads plus one Apple Watch charging puck. So really, as long as the cumulative point value is below 15 or 15 or below, you're good to go and you can continue adding components. We love this idea. We think this is a great charger and are so excited to be using it. If you want to grab one, you can follow the link down below in the description. It comes in black and there's an Apple Store exclusive white model as well. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.